hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome to a little kind of random vlog i'm gonna say like a weekend vlog but it's currently thursday and i don't know when i'm gonna end this i am so happy to be back if you haven't watched my little catch-up video that i did a little while ago then i will link it down below in the description i would recommend going and watching that just so you can see where i've been i'm hoping it cleared a couple things up because i know i have been away from my camera from youtube for a very long time now but I'm back. So I thought I'd just pick up the camera today. I don't really have too much of a plan. I just wanted to bring you along on the next few days really. I'm currently running around the house frantically cleaning it because I want to film an updated house tour. But yeah, I hope you're all good. Like I say, it is currently Thursday. I've literally just got back from filming a little drive with me to catch you guys up. I say drive with me. I literally sat with my pumpkin spice latte and chatted at you guys for like 20 minutes. But it felt good. Like I say, I'm just so happy to be back. I want to get back into a routine of regular uploads. We need to get back into the halls. There is also a winter fashion on the way. There's a lot that I need to jump on board with. But Brad is just heading to get some lunch. He has been very busy with the house. He's busy with the house today. I am kind of in catch up mode since being ill. There's a whole load of messages I need to get back to. Like I say, I need to film the house tour and I'm gonna edit the video that I just filmed to catch up with you guys. I'm gonna edit it today and get it up ASAP um, because I just miss, I miss you guys. I miss chatting, I miss this. I thought I'd just show you the bedroom. So if you wanna go back and watch the updated house tour, then you can see the rest of the house and how it's getting on. But I'm just so happy with this room. I really love how it's turned out. This is eventually gonna be a guest bedroom, but this is where we currently are. And I just think it's very cute and cozy. So this is what it's looking like. Um, I will go into detail about everything in the other video. So like I say, if you do wanna hear more, then I will leave it linked. But this is a little cozy bedroom for now. Um, we've obviously got doors on, we've got handles. Everything is looking very different. So when we first obviously got the keys to this place, all the architraves are brand new, all of the coving is fixed. This has been like our little safe haven because obviously the rest of the house is a bomb site right now. So we kind of come up here, close the door and forget everything else exists because this looks lovely. I do need a lampshade though. Something else to add to the to-do list. Also don't mind my car mount. I bought this from Amazon. <laughs> it's kind of large and in charge. I am having a very, very cozy day. I've just got my Adenola hoodie on some gym leggings from Adenola as well and Adenola socks, <laughs> brilliant. One thing I would say though, I kind of hate these hoodies. They literally shrink the first time you wash them. I swear they look at washing machine and they go down two sizes. Like I did not buy this like this. I literally bought this so oversized and the arms are still long, but in the body, I feel like I need to stretch it out. I do find that the Sisters and Seekers hoodies are better quality than Adenola. I hate to say, cause I love Adenola so much, but yeah, these just don't wash very well. Maybe I just shouldn't be washing them the way I am. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go and catch up on a few work bits. And I'm just gonna pick this vlog up as and when fun things happen. We've got dinner tomorrow evening. Um, we're going to Junkyard Food Market on Saturday, which is local to Norwich um, with a group of friends. So I'm really excited about that. This is like the reality of a Renault <laughs> and living in it. There is stuff everywhere because something happened to the boiler so we had to get someone over to look at it and it means like everything needs to come out of that cupboard and they've just not been put back in that cupboard so now i need to cook in my tiny little kitchen i need to move everything around again just a little bit of like the reality of what goes on behind the scenes i find it really funny at the minute because obviously i have been like filming content and stuff and when my friends come over they're like where do you film like when they first walk in and they're downstairs they're like i'm so confused it literally looks like two different houses and there's just like a section of the bedroom that is very presentable like everything's in its place and i get to film there because the rest is just carnage like actual carnage but i wanted to show you guys my recent purchase this little thing is a rice maker and i love like thai food wagwan is like my favorite any like noodle dish rice dish i'm all over it i absolutely love sticky rice specifically and i have never actually tried making it to be fair like i've never tried just boiling sticky rice but i always see on tiktok people using rice makers for any type and it just always looks one so easy you literally stick it in and it's done um and two it always comes out like perfectly so i thought i would invest in one 
This one I found on Amazon and it was just like the most reasonably priced, still looked kind of cute and had really good reviews. So I think it was like £80 I want to say. I will link it down below but it's just the best thing I have bought. I'm so glad I invested in this. We've already made some sushi, we bought some like nori sheets from Asda. Um, I bought loads of packets of sticky rice on Amazon. We just use this one. The Yutaka, I want to say, sushi rice. We did also use their nori sheets. And um, like I say, we've got these in Asda. We've only done it once so far and it did not turn out the best because I didn't put enough rice in there. So I'm sure we'll make sushi at some point over the weekend maybe and I will show you guys that. But yeah, the rice maker is a 10 out of 10 for me. I'm so glad I bought it. I'm going to be making like a little poke bowl this evening. We're going to have some steak. I bought some little corn crackers because I saw them and I fancied them. We have some mushrooms and some peppers and then I also have some red onions. But yeah, that is... Pretty much it. I'm basically going to pop some sushi rice in the rice maker, fry off the steaks, fry off the veg, easy as that. Put a little sauce together. I've got like some sweet chilli, sriracha, poison sauce, soy sauce, just throw it all in there basically and we're going to have a little sushi rice bowl which are my favourite dinners. They're so quick and easy to make. Brad went to us the other day and he was like, do you need anything? I was like, can I be really annoying and get you to buy the pink cans of coke because I've seen them all over TikTok. And they're really cute and I was like admiring my pink cans of coke thinking wow like the aesthetic they are adorable and then I thought the whole point of these is to check your boobs um so I did that the other night and this is your reminder if you're watching this or if you're drinking your pink can of coke remember to check your boobs boys and girls it's so important so there's your little reminder hello <laughs> it is friday i look like a mess because i still feel like a mess i feel like i'm getting better some days and then the next day i feel worse so I'm really trying to figure out what's going on but brad and i have dinner this evening which will be really nice i'm actually really looking forward to it we're going to haggle i can never open these with my nails yeah, we're going to a restaurant called haggle which is a turkish restaurant here in norwich it's so good but the food is absolutely unreal I cannot take myself seriously right now, but excuse the appearance. Literally the whole of today, I have just sat here with my laptop. I'm in our little wardrobe room. I've got like a little tiny desk set up here for now. Um, and we're just kind of working through everything that I need to do and get ready for the weekend. I'm going to pick up Bonnet at some point because we are then actually staying for a night with Brad's parents in a little lodge that they're going to. And I'm going to take Bonnie as well because... We can take the dogs and me and his mum are going to go on like a little dog walk and the boys are going to play golf I think. So yeah, super chilled but like nice weekend coming up which I feel like I need. I'm currently sat munching on some Maltesers. Brad is at the other house, he's at the rental house. He is basically fixing a few issues that the guys have got there. We're basically in like direct contact with them and because Brad renovated the whole house he kind of knows how to fix any issues that come up so... Yeah, he is doing a bit of a maintenance day to day. It's a very old house, so there's a couple of bits that could potentially go wrong, um, but we're just constantly there to fix them, which is quite good. I also forgot to mention in the catch up video, I was like, what else has happened that I've not updated you guys on? And I forgot to say that I got some Botox since I've been away in my forehead, so I can't raise my eyebrows. I mean, I can raise my eyebrows, like I still have a bit of movement, but I obviously don't have lines on my forehead because it's frozen even frowning that's as much as i can do um but i'm actually really really happy with it like i can't take myself seriously with this head yeah i'm super happy with the results like i still have movement when i talk and stuff and i'm not like constantly shocked all the time i really didn't want to look like that um but i thought i'd recommend who i went to because i could have asked for less i could have asked for more like she was super super helpful it was obviously the first time i had ever got it done and she made me feel really comfortable um totally listened to what i wanted also yes i have aero bubbles as well if i get bored of the mortises <laughs> i felt like she really understood exactly what i wanted and gave me my perfect results so i went to a lovely girl called misha she's now got her own little studio so i will leave her instagram link down below if you want to get in touch or if you want to check out where she is and stuff or any results for anything else that she does botox was something that i was looking into for a while and i finally did it and i'm really happy on that note i did actually squeeze what i thought was a spot but i actually <laughs> this is really bad i actually don't know if i should be panicking about it but i'm not because it seems fine now but 
I think it was actually where I was injected and I squeezed it so hard to the point where it then became a spot and now I'm kind of left with this mark. I mean, it is like healing. I'm worried it's gonna scar. I'm hoping it won't, but I think I just squeezed it so hard that it hurt anyway, but I literally felt like my whole forehead had a pulse and I was panicking that all the Botox was gonna fall out of my head or something ridiculous, but I'm actually fine. <laughs> Hello, it is a lot later now. You can probably tell I've just got out of the shower. Please excuse my little after party here. I say little. There's a story behind this. So Brad bought me like the mini avocado jelly cat a while ago and I left it in Ibiza, I want to say. I can't remember. I took it somewhere with me and I literally forgot it. So I was like, do you know what? I'm going to replace it with one that I'm never going to lose because it's so big. Also, if you can hear someone mowing the lawn, it is Brad mowing the front lawn. Um, but yeah, I've literally just got out of the shower. I thought I'd speak you through a couple of my favourite products at the moment because I haven't really like recommended anything in a while and i've kind of switched up my products since i've probably last spoken to you about them especially skincare i am super super lucky i very kindly got gifted some bits from clinique this is a brand that my mum has used for years so it felt really like nostalgic picking stuff and i kind of just went for everything that i remember her using i picked out basically like a whole skincare regime so i've exfoliated my face and my skin in the shower literally just using exfoliating gloves that i get from boots um and then my face wash i use hasn't changed it is still the cerave can't remember the name of it but it's the one it's like the light blue one for rough and bumpy skin um i literally swear by that it's not changed out of my routine for a very long time once my face is all clean i start with the cleansing lotion or the clarifying lotion this i remember my mum having on the side and i don't even know how old it was i must have been so young i used to always see her get a cotton bud and put some of that on it and then put it on her face so i remember doing the same thing it is an exfoliator so it does feel a little bit harsher on your skin but it's nothing like it doesn't burn it doesn't hurt or anything but you do obviously, obviously feel that you're using it and yeah i was like oh my god why is mum using this like i put it in my eyes and everything and i just remember thinking what is this woman putting on her face and i literally never touched it since obviously until i got old enough to understand skincare a bit more you can use it twice a day but i kind of just use it anytime i cleanse my face and then i picked up this which i am really loving i've always suffered with like darker areas around my nose if i squeeze any spots or anything i always always scar um, and kind of in the sense of it's then just like a dark patch on my face, which is really annoying Like I say the main place I notice it is around my nose and this is their radical dark spot corrector and Interrupter it basically just said online that it helps reduce redness and dark spots and stuff and I honestly would say This is working. I've kind of tried things in the past just to see if anything will help But I've never really been that impressed by anything um, but yeah, I really like how this feels and I generally feel like I see a difference I don't know if it's just because I've got a bit of a tan now So it might all just be blending in when I lose my tan I might see the darkness a bit more I don't know, but I do really like it and then moisture surge is one of my all-time favorite Moisturizers if I'm not using the Elemis pro collagen marine cream. I will use this I usually have the gel formula one which I do like more for summer But I thought because we're going into the winter months I got the Moisture Surge Intense, which is more of a cream. The gel is kind of like a little bit translucent. It's a lighter formula, but this is like a thick moisturizing cream, which is so nice for this time of year. So I pop that on next, and then I use this, which is just kind of a bit of a gimmick product, I would say. I don't know how much these things work, but they feel lovely on the skin. This is just their All About Eyes Serum, and it's just one of those little kind of pens that has the metal tip, and you just roll it under your eyes, and it feels unreal <laughs> i mean it obviously will have serums in it that will help to depuff and everything but i just think it feels great so yeah i pop that on and then finally just to stay super hydrated and to be honest make my skin look really nice and glowy this was perfect on holiday this is their moisture surge face spray i have the big bottle of it and then i've just popped some in here for when i go away but this is the best stuff ever it's so refreshing and it also makes your skin ridiculously glowy i don't really know how well you guys can see the light in here in the evenings is so nice as well. We get the evening sun, which is gorge. But yeah, that is my current skincare routine, which I'm loving. Like I say, it is kind of pricey, which is why I'm super, super grateful to Clinique. Um, their products are definitely an investment. But like I say, mum has 
loved them for years and I'm now really enjoying the little routine that I have. It just makes it really easy as well. Hair care. I have also just changed into my gorgeous dressing gown that Brad got me for our 10 year anniversary. Um, my anniversary was back in August and he was away and I'd literally just got home from Amelia's Hindu and I walked through the door and there was like balloons everywhere at like 4am. There was balloons everywhere, there was all these little Polaroids down the corridor of like every single year we'd been together and then I went into the kitchen and then there was a massive bunch of flowers and then a white company bag with this gorgeous dressing gown. Anyway, hair care. So I basically got these because my good, good friend, Georgia Jeffries, she is a hairdresser and I went to her wholesalers with her one day. There's obviously so many products that you can get for your hair and I kind of just go with whatever Georgia tells me to get. She told me to get these because they are pretty affordable for what they are and they are insane like as a little duo they are so nice they smell incredible and i really feel like they have helped my hair i've been styling it differently recently i will link a tiktok down below um and i'm going to style my hair with it this evening but i very kindly actually i worked with them i worked with ghd over on tiktok for their duet styler and this thing is incredible this is the like straightener and hair dryer in one obsessed like i said i'm gonna link the tiktok if you do want to mini tutorial on it or to see it like actually working it's insane so i don't know if it's that that's making my hair feel crazy soft when i style it or if it is these i'm kind of putting it down to a combination of both um but yeah i've been using the enforcer shampoo and conditioner together and then i say this every single time but whenever i slick my hair back i always use a hair mask to slick it back with so it kind of is treating it as it's being violently damaged as well like slicking your hair back is not good and i do it way too often especially when i'm away on holiday so now i'm back i'm just trying to use a lot of hair mask treatments um and oils and stuff to give it some life back but this is the hair mask that kind of goes with the shampoo and conditioner so it's the enforcer one again and again this just smells incredible they are the hair care and skincare products that i've been using and i just had a delivery from refi i actually ordered these things like i think yesterday and i didn't pay for next day delivery or anything so i don't know how or why they got here so quick but i'm very excited about it because i'm going to try them out this evening so i stocked back up on my favorite lip liner because after georgia and matt's wedding here i have no idea where my lip liner went so i was gutted about it because i absolutely love this mixed with my dior lip glow this is the liner in rosewood and i do still have my lip glow but i thought i would try out their new gloss so i got the matching one in rosewood as well I had the clear one of these, again, no idea where it is, but it was really nice because they have the like metal tip to them. I'm sure you guys have seen these and they are a really nice product to use. So I'm intrigued to see what they look like combined. I'm going to wear that this evening so you guys will see. And then I just picked up a gloss highlighter. I think this just comes in one shade um, and I just thought I'd give it a go. I haven't worn highlighter in forever, but I thought it'd be nice to have just in case and it was kind of affordable for what it is. I do find that with Refi, I don't feel like it's crazy priced, which is quite nice. And then I got a kind of brow duo. I got the brow tin and the brow pencil in medium. I think they're both in medium. Obviously when Refi first launched, I feel like they were all about brow products and I was really intrigued to try like the brow sculpt when it first came out and stuff and I just did not rate it at all. So I've been quite hesitant to try their brow products but I've seen really good things and I feel like you can't really go wrong with a brow pencil. So yeah, that is my mini Refi haul. I now have probably about an hour to get ready. So I'm gonna sort my hair out, um, do my makeup.
of away nights are sleepless Do we need space? Yeah, maybe you're brave Boy, you're my weakness Hello Hi we are in the car we are on the way to the food festival but we are in such a rush because i literally just happened to check the tickets to see if the location was the same as where it usually is and it's not and also i thought i'd booked it for 6 p.m and it's at 5 p.m so we are literally rushing them right now i think the guys are already on their way but yeah mad rush how's your day been Bradley? good yeah good got the passport finished yes that's so now sorted i don't think i showed you guys that actually yeah, I showed it in the house store to be fair, but I haven't given you any updates in this video yet. We also went to the gym. Yeah, ran 5k to get to the gym, did leg day stupidly, and then ran 5k back, and I was a sweaty mess. <laughs> I also asked Brad to get some hummus okay. on the way back because I thought he had like a backpack or something. And he walked in the door and he had like a pot of hummus, a pot of tamasalata, and a cucumber in his hand. And I was like, did he just run back with that? And he literally had. So we're running through the streets of Norwich with your groceries in your hand. Nice. But yeah, we are heading there now. I will show you guys what it's like when we get there. We literally haven't seen everyone for ages. We've obviously been away and everyone's been busy renovating their houses. It's so weird that like all of us, like our friendship group, everyone's running about in their house. We all can relate on the stress of it and like we don't judge each other when we go to our houses because they're all just as much of a mess as each other. We are here. We've been here for a while, had some food. It's like a whole little festival thing. There's tents everywhere, food everywhere. Everyone's all um, junkyard festivals. Quite cold. <laughs> We're all literally fallen soldiers. Mm. Amelia's got... I've got like a wisdom wisdom teeth. Well, wisdom teeth yeah, situation. Mm. Georgia is one out of ten. Not feeling okay. The girls are falling apart this week. Yeah, we need a spa day, we've decided. Okay, we've had some food. We had chip bucket. The guys had chip bucket. You had... I had a burrito from a Mexican... It's like the only thing you can eat. It seemed to be like, like fancy. I wanted chips and then I had chips and I was just like, I don't want them. Yeah. And I'm going to get a crepe. And you've had the crepes are really good to solve tooth issues. Yeah, so that's one challenge get myself. <laughs> it's nice to be reunited. <laughs> and, uh, it's because you lot go on holidays. So yeah, you do, but I always say that and I'm like, I'm the problem. I am the problem. You are the problem. <laughs> You're on the vlog. This is Hanker. <laughs> what do you do? Say what you've eaten here at Junkyard Market. Eaten? Yeah. I just had the you? chicken sock. Did you like the sock? Yeah, mate. Good. Mega, weren't it? Yeah. Did you go for cheese and bacon? Yeah. She just trucked that on. I have no choice. Oh. Hello, guys. It is currently Sunday. If you can hear some crying in the back, Brad has just got out of the car. Beam, come here. Okay. I have just unstrapped her. She has been strapped in the back in her bed. We obviously went to the junkyard market like food festival last night with the guys. Are you warm? <laughs> and it was really nice. We just had like a bite to eat, had a bit of a walk around. Um, there was like loads of live music and stuff. Caught up with a few people and headed home for like 10 o'clock, got into bed. <laughs> Everyone was not feeling too great. I feel like I've honestly gone downhill again, which is really annoying. I'm really hoping I haven't just like picked up another illness, but yeah, I don't feel too great this morning. Georgia, bless her heart, did not feel great at all. Um, and then Amelia obviously had her wisdom teeth coming through. So we were all falling apart to be honest. And I woke up this morning and finished editing my house tour video. Yeah, we got ready to head to this little lodge, packed our bags and stuff and went and got Bon. She's literally looking out the window like, where has Brad gone? <laughs> I think Nick is gonna barbecue tonight. Um, the lodge is like on a little lake as well. So it just seems very zen and like everything I want right now. I'm gonna take Bon for a walk tomorrow with Brad's mom. Hello. You in your car? I hate being in the car so much. Yep. Pub two, could you quickly come back in a second? No. Nope. Some of the trouble. <laughs> So we are in the lodge, we've been here for a little while, we're literally just sat outside chilling. I've been reading my book, I'm now on to It Starts With Us and I really don't want to ruin any of the stories if you haven't read them yet but it's really nice to like read a good ending, if you know you know. But this is our little bedroom, I thought I'd give you a mini tour of the lodge because it's really cute. Very purple, I won't lie, like these beds. This is our little room that we have 
for the night we have single beds for the evening <laughs> it's actually really spacious as well like built in wardrobes um this is one of the double bedrooms i think brad's parents are in here and then like the bathroom is literally massive we've got a shower with about eight jets on it which looks unreal i'll ask nick exactly where these are and leave the details linked down below in case you want to stay here on a little holiday and then down here we have a little bonnie who is waiting for her DIN and ER but this is like a little side entrance you've got a sink in here and again like more storage and then in here this is like the main living area so you've got a big lounge in here with a massive sofa and then the kitchen area is around here so it's literally massive while I'm in here I'm gonna grab myself another beer and sit back outside the weather is so nice like weirdly nice for October it's currently a bright sunshine out there so I'm gonna go and sit in the sun read some more of my book and enjoy Hey, <laughs> this is Brad's family dog Ollie. Yeah, he's a little patted out area. He is so cute. Aren't you? Are you guys best friends? to the bathroom to take my makeup off i've got my pjs on from h&m we're gonna sit down and watch big brother which i'm very excited about i literally have missed watching this so much i get so invested we've literally had the nicest day we just got here completely chilled and then had a barbecue this evening um and yeah it's so nice like just having days like this where you literally just sit and do nothing but you're know, with family by the way i'm just using the Nizel um cleanse and polish to take my makeup off i love this stuff if i'm not using the elemis cleansing balm then this is like my other go-to i'm also just using my face halo to take this off i kind of forgot about these for a while but they're really easy to take with you like if you're traveling or anything they work so well i think you can actually use these with just water um but i do prefer to use a cleanser as well bon is loving life <laughs> she's just been taken out for a little walk brother and brother has taken her and like i said in the updates video it's so nice to be able to just like go and pick her up every so often and pretend that she's mine for the weekend i'm really enjoying my book i feel like this one took me a little while to get into but i think i'm kind of into it now i don't think this is ruining anything but it is written differently to the first one because it's basically switching between characters so when i first started reading it i was like i don't know if this is going to get really confusing for my little reading novice brain but i'm actually quite enjoying it now i've actually completely forgotten any cotton pads so i don't think i'm going to be able to use this we'll just go straight in with the rest of it i thought i would just check in before we literally sit for the evening or watch tv we've bought stuff from the shop to make some s'mores so i'm going to make some of those for everyone have some more drinks and watch big brother if you're watching it as well then please let me know your thoughts Obviously I have no thoughts right now because I literally haven't seen anything to do with it, but I'm excited. Feels so good. Right, that is me done. I will probably pick you guys back up in the morning, so I'll keep you posted when we are home. I don't wanna be crazy no more. Every time I think you're gonna walk out. Hello guys, it is now Tuesday evening. We actually ended up staying in the lodge another night than we planned. Um, so we headed back this morning. We had a B&Q delivery of a load of doors, but I have been working on my little project all day. And so I haven't really picked up the camera, but I have just put some rice in the rice maker for some sushi tonight because Brad has gone out 
to play football. I thought I'd have a cosy evening. We still have Bon with us. We're actually gonna keep her for a little bit longer. I'm fresh out of the shower. I've just got in my white company dressing gown. We love having drawers that are literally 102 years old. So I thought I would just check in really. This rice, honestly, I don't think I'll actually ever get over this. This is gonna go everywhere, but like proper sticky rice at home. I need to let this cool down though, obviously, for the sushi. But I also came home to a very exciting delivery. Fun, not intended, it is from Berry. I have seen these Uggs everywhere and I was like, there's no way I'm gonna get hold of them. Like, Ugg season's already started. I should have bought them in summer. I know a lot of people were buying their Ultra Minis in summer. But I keep seeing the same recommended post on Instagram and this girl just looks so cute in these ones. I wasn't too keen on them at the start, but I kind of think, do you know what, they're actually really cute. I got these ones, which, like I said, they're probably gonna be very Marmite. The picture that I saw them styled in, she looked great. Like, they were literally just paired with some jeans and a really simple, like, striped long sleeve top. She just looked really cool and effortless, and I thought they'd be cute, like, peeping out the bottom of jeans. So that was fun to come home to. I haven't actually tried them on yet. I think I got them in a seven because I want to say that was the only size they had left. I would say like shop around for Uggs because you might find them on a really random website. Like I know Next sell them. Obviously I got these on Very. Yeah, you'll be surprised where you find them sometimes. These, I'm not gonna lie, feel very big. And I did read the reviews and a lot of people were saying, I don't understand the hype about these Tasman Uggs because they literally fall off your feet as you walk, which I do get. I have tried some before and I did think the exact same, but practicality doesn't really come into the equation when things look cute does it also our neighbor's light shines directly into our house like that's their security light shining directly on my face i mean i think they look so bizarre from up above also excuse my freaking cozy socks for the evening i'm really not doing these justice at all right i'm gonna style these tomorrow and we can revisit them and see our thoughts because i feel like no one would like them in this day so it's been a pretty chilled day to be fair we literally rushed back this morning because I completely forgot that I had a nail appointment. This is literally me all over. I mean, it was in my calendar, but I sat bolt upright this morning, like woke up at about half seven and was like, oh my God, I've got a nail appointment today. And it was my idea to stay an extra night. So brother's like, are you actually kidding? Like you wanted to stay and you're the one with an appointment today. But obviously I got there in time. I got my nails done and I just went for baby pink. I like keeping the length at the moment because these are Biab. Um, so my natural nails are underneath and they feel really nice and healthy so I try and keep the length where I can. Okay, there is my plate of sticky rice. I'm gonna let this just cool down on the side and then pop it in the fridge. Um, and yeah, make some sushi. I don't know if I've shown you guys this but I did also pick up one of these little choppy things. Obviously it doesn't have the um, little tub on the bottom at the moment, it's just in the cupboard. But they have so many different attachments to them. And this one, I will show you as I make the sushi, but it's so perfect for chopping up veg to like lay in the sushi rolls. For example, like using cucumber, I just slice it across or like grate it with this and it just comes out in like little strips. I actually bought some breaded chicken as well because I thought I'd make some like sweet chili chicken rolls tonight. I wanted to get steak, but they didn't have any. So I've settled for that. But I also picked up some chocolate. I've got some chocolate fingers. So I kind of forgot about these guys and I literally love them. Although it says four of the sticks is one portion. Not in my case. Another all time fave. Some 12 bites. And I think that is all I have to update you on for now. So I will probably pick you guys back up once the rice is cool and I can start making our sushi rolls and then we'll see if I'll be home a bit later. And then I'll probably run this vlog off to be fair because I think it's pretty long at this point. Also, Secret Project is going so well. I'm so happy, so excited. Yeah, can't get my head around it. I feel like I need to just take the plunge and stop being so nervous. But it's so many emotions happening at once, but I do feel good about it. And mainly I am just excited for you guys to see. I just remembered something else that I wanted to show you guys. I have very kindly been sent over a whole new bunch of the Simmer Meals. I'm obsessed with these for like meal prep, especially if you are into the gym or if you're super busy at work, anything that you just need like a really quick lunch, something you don't even need to think about, but it's still nice and good for you, then I would highly recommend checking out these guys. I do have a discount code, which I will leave on screen, which is now gonna be valid without a time limit. So if you wanna have a think about it or sign up in the future, then that will always be valid if you wanna 
refer back to this video but yeah they're just so good like the ones i have here is portuguese pro pro chicken south african lamb charles sweet chow mein and indonesian chicken they are just yum there is not much more i can say about them it's two guys and their mum that run it and they are the nicest people ever so like i say if you want to check them out i'll leave a link you can get them on like a subscription so it will just kind of run over and you will just have fresh meals delivered every week or however often you choose we are back in the kitchen but it is a lot later i promise i have literally been sat upstairs doing crosswords i'm not even kidding if you watch the updates video then you'll know but i am obsessed i just kind of prefer it to like sitting on my phone sometimes i know it makes me really old but i i'm 26 now so it's my life anyway i thought i would start making my dinner because brad should be home soon and like i said i did get some chicken so i thought i'd just pop this in the air fryer because it's so much easier i have said it before but this thing is such a lifesaver i honestly don't know why i did before i had an air fryer and i never used to listen to people that would say exactly that i'd be like i've got an oven like they can't be that good and now i have one i get it <laughs> I'm so happy with how this turned out. I mean, obviously the two end ones don't look great, but here is my tuna and cucumber rolls. I actually don't think they look that bad at all. These are the two end ones that I've mentioned. They don't look great because I don't know how you make them look great, but I'm impressed. I feel like there's quite a lot of rice and not too much filling, so I might try and put less rice in the next ones. That's like the second time I've ever made sushi and I really don't think that's that bad. I feel like a little kid, I'm literally like so excited for Brad to get home so I can be like, look what I made. Yay, they look great. Oh, that looks lovely. <laughs> wow. Good, right? Well played. That one needs to be a bit thicker. Yeah, no, do you know what the only bit I'm not very good at is cutting them evenly. Yeah, wow. I think they've got those things that you can put them on and then they cut them. Oh really? Yeah. Perfectly. There's quite a lot of leftover veg. That's right. Nice. So, here is our sushi. This is the crispy uh, chicken with sweet chilli sauce and I've put a bit of mayo in there. These are a little bit, well a lot smaller than these ones actually. We also have a load of veg and another chicken breast left over so we're just going to munch on this. Put some corn crackers and it looks good. I'm very proud of myself this evening. Good job. Should do a taste test. Soy and sriracha. I think I'm going to try the chicken one first. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. That is so good. Yummy. Good job. What's your rating out of 10? I'd say an 8 out of 10. Where have my two points come? Um, I can tell it's homemade. <laughs> <laughs> it's my second time ever making it. You know, I think it takes like, I don't know, it's bar buns, isn't it? Doesn't it take like seven years for them to master how to do no, bar buns? No, it takes buns. a lifetime or something. I thought it was seven years. I don't know, but I'd love to master bar buns. I'm very impressed. Not a great time. Good job. <laughs>